yeah so this is really interesting um from what i from what i can see this is like the biggest this almost beats the patch 1.0 guys i mean this is huge so i mean first of all there's this weaponizement and balance i mean i just looked at this quickly and the thing i was a bit curious about is the sks that uh, that's like that caught my eye at first glance um just when you look at this the raw data here the sks is kind of weird um but uh you know it might get some explanation in how the grips work and i i will be trying out the sks absolutely it's important to to get more info about that happy to see that the mini has been in, in buffed a bit in damage not sure this is enough again damage wise this won't cut it but it's a start so we might have something in the grips again this up here the ars akm you see this this is gonna work guys i mean this looks good um and Again, we see one damage lower uh, for the 5.56 Assault Rifles. And while that seems um, a bit low, it might it might have something to do with how many shots you need per kill in specific situations. That might be how they do it. So this actually might mean that you need an extra bullet in some cases to get your kill. Um, the AUG though... I feel like this should have had higher damage, but I, I see how they really want to keep the damage the same for the same ki kind of um, a bullet, like the 5.56, five, you know? Get the SLR. Yeah, of course we need to get that. Um, it's down here. And um, so how this balanced? Of course, this is going to beat the uh, SKS on damage. So yeah, it's the new best, well, highest damage DMR. Um, not talking about the MK14, of course. That remains the same. So it's really close. It's gonna do a lot of damage per bullet. But uh, let's let's see what we can do with this. The pistols, I'm really happy to see this. This is a big buff for the pistols. The P92, big buff. You know, this is this is a lot. Um that is a lot and also the p1911 which is now 41 damage you do realize that this is the same damage that the 556 assault rifles had before patch 1.0 right guys they used to have 41 damage now the p1911 has 41 damage so this is a strong pistol i'm really curious about how that's gonna work this is uh really nice um Pistols will definitely be more viable based on the damage alone. But again, a lot of we get more answers down below. And still, uh, SMG's damage has been increased a bit. LMG's also interesting to see the DP28 get over 50 damage. That's really cool as well. Um, I'm happy to see that. You know, the, the rate of fire is, is definitely lower than the M249. So yes, it should do less damage. And... Um, but again, you know, it does 45 damage them to 49 now per bullet. It used to do the same damage per bullet as um, the assault rifle that are also 556. Five, so I don't, you know, well, okay. So it's a bit a bit stronger based on this. Anyway, the weapons, let's see. So this is the thing that they want, right? None should be objectively the best, but guys, come on. Do you really expect that together, of course, that we won't find one assault rifle to be objectively the best? Of course we will. You can never, never achieve such balance. It's impossible. You can get really close, but you're not going to get it. Okay, um, so far, based on this, M4 is still going to rock your world, okay? And, but the AKM is certainly going to be super interesting, and, and we're going to have more look on that. This might be, this might be, based on this, this might be the, the reign of the AKM starting nightmare. AKM might be ruling the game from here on, on the common assault rifle, but let's, let's have a look down here. Um, so this is also good, exactly what I wanted. Um... SMGs now more effective in short range combat. Yes, absolutely. That makes sense. It's how it should be. It's a submachine gun. It should be your preferred choice over an assault rifle when you go closer than 50 meters. That's how it should be. That is how it should be. 
Um, so I hope to see that down below. Um, shotguns increased overall damage and effective range. Also interesting because a lot of the times you will fire several shots with the shotgun on, you know, even like on 30, 20 meters maybe, and you don't get the kill even though you hit. Um, so. So yes, we saw this, the pistols increase damage. I like this, this is very cool. Um, actually, the revolvers might even be worth taking. That's a lot of damage. The only thing that exceeds that damage per bullet is um, the DMR center. And of course, some bolt action sniper rifles, that and that, and this, and the DB28. Um, yeah. So shotguns, increased limb shot modifier. Shooting limbs now does more damage. Important. This was, again, what I said in my video. This is what I felt like was the biggest problem of the shotguns, hitting limbs. So I'm really happy to see this. It's not limb penetration, but I'm happy to see this. Um, and of course, they needed to decrease the damage because otherwise they would be overpowered since they do this, I think. And pellet spread by 25% reduced. This is really, I mean, this is this is a lot. So you will hit more pellets. Less of your nine pellets will fly by, especially when you use like the S1897 uh, here. I feel like sometimes when you shoot with this, you know, it, the pellets go everywhere. So this is really good. Um, also going to reduce the need for a choke if you want to hit your bullets on, on, a, on some range. And it's also going to make the choke even better because it's going to boost. It's going to add to this, of course. And okay, whatever can be attached to the sawed off. Who cares about that? Well, actually, we do care about that because the sawed off is like the well, pellets go everywhere on that thing. I mean, you stand. You need to stand on on top of his face to hit him and kill him. So and that's good. Uh, okay, this is good. Limb shot modifier SMG. I like it because. Yes, that, that, that just makes good sense being close to your target. You should never be able to get punished for hitting the arms. Of course, you shouldn't with any weapon, but it's good. Slightly increase the damage of the Micro Uzi, UMP9 and Vector. Yes, we saw that. That is good. Decrease the vertical recoil on all SMGs. Great. Great, because already do we have a low vertical recoil on all SMGs. And I will say the Uzi has like no vertical recoil once you put the attachment on it. And now, I mean, <laughs> we're gonna try the Uzi. We're gonna try it all, but seriously, this is sick. Uh, decrease the recoil and scope sway when moving in ADS aiming down sight. Also a great thing because moving while shooting, that makes your reticle go like this, you know? It, it uh, sways left and right. So this is really cool. And uh, we're gonna have less of that um, when aimed down sight and you will be more inclined to be in ADS move around walking while being in ADS and You know, you can move quickly with a with a submachine gun while ADS, but this is gonna be really good I, I like this so I see I picture you having your SMG using that in close quarters Going around corners moving, you know close in buildings just checking out of the door while ADS having low movement um, uh, low movement uh, penalty while being able to shoot with less sway. That's really good. And the ADS transition speed is also good because where do you need this the most? Close quarters. So I like this. Feels sounds really, really cool. Now for the ARs, we slightly decrease the damage of the 556 assault rifle. These are the dominant weapon so far in the game this is what everyone uses most of the game i only use two of these or double m4 or something like that that's all i need so i'm happy not to probably not to be doing that anymore but let's see reload time increase for the scar l m16 and m4 this is also good because it was almost like it almost didn't exist it didn't matter I, there was like no no reload time and that means, like, if you add 30% to a super low reload time. No, I think it's probably going to match the AUG, actually. Uh, I haven't tested it, but I, with my knowledge, I know the AUG is significantly longer than these. And uh, especially them four. I haven't actually matched it with these, but I'm pr quite confident it's the same. So it means that all the 556 assault rifle is probably going to have the same reload time. Makes sense. So that is... 
theoretically a buff for the AUK. That's also a way to, to watch it or view it. Reload time for the AK also increased a bit. Okay, just to match the others, I presume. Increase the vertical and horizontal recoil for all arrows except the AKM. So this is a buff for the AKM. You buff the AKM by making other weapons worse. Now this approach to buffing weapons is generally not something I like because I would like I like a game where all weapons feel overpowered in your hands. That's how I like it. I, I want to, I want all weapons to when I get them feel oh, this this is good instead of ah oh, this is not so good. So you can do that. Um, it might be like that, but I'm I'm just gonna say I don't like this approach necessarily, but. It's good for the AK. That is that is absolutely true. Um, decreased recoil recovery rate for all ARs. Now this is also a big reason that the assault rifles are good in close quarters, because you spray, um, and the time you need to wait before you can spray again, having that precision on the first bullets, um, has always been extremely low for assault rifles. Now it's going to be longer. And I, again, this is a buff for the SMGs by nerfing the assault rifles. And then we're restricting the big scopes, 8x and up, to use with all airs. Uh, or for use with all airs. Also a good thing, this is a buff for the snipers by nerfing the assault rifles. And then we got some new animations. Okay, so we have just nerfed all assault rifles except the AUK, the Graza or Graza. At AKM, actually AKM is nerfed too, but yeah, not so much. Overall buffed, sorry, overall buffed. And we've done that so everything else looks better. Assault rifle worse, meaning everything else is going to be better. DMRs. Increased head, body and limb shot modifier. Okay, so this is, now we're getting to the, you know, the answer to why they decrease the damage of the SKS. Because this is obviously, this is going to increase the damage. So, um, so yes, that's why. Uh, interesting, very interesting. This is, uh, you know, DMRs might be worth it to use. Interesting. Uh, also good for the Mini. And the Mini has huge issues in this game. I mean, it's, it's so bad. So, and it needs more damage. So this is going to help a lot. You're going to get rewarded for hitting the head. I like it. And you're going to get rewarded for hitting the body. And you're not going to get punished for hitting the limbs. Good. Uh, and yes, of course, decrease the damage of the SKS. Slightly increase the damage of the VSS and the Mini 14. It's good. I like that we're increasing. We saw that below. I was just thinking the VSS, but it makes sense. I mean, it's good. We're going to use that more with these things. Increase the vertical and horizontal recoil for all DMRs. Ouch. Big hit for the mini because that already has terrible horizontal recoil. And so does uh, SKS. That has terrible vertical recoil. But again, we might see you know some mitigation of this using the grips. Decrease the recoil recovery rate for all DMRs. Uh-huh. That's good. That's interesting. So I think what this means is that you will be able to shoot faster. Um, and I think in this case, it, it has to mean, I mean, it might mean two things. It might mean that when you shoot a lot of bullets, like you spam your weapon, it's going to recover quicker. Or what I think it is and what it should be is that um, the time between precision shots should be uh, lower. Right now, you can shoot 100 bullets um, per minute with an SKS, for instance. And that's the exact time you need for your reticle to stabilize, right? It goes in like this. This might be lower now. And then added a new recoil animation. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so that's it. S interesting. Really interesting. And I'm interested to see how this feels with the new... Um, SLR as well, the new, new new weapon. Other guns slightly increase the damage of the DPS. Restricted big scopes for use. Okay. But you never could use the 8x on the DP. Okay, but you could on this. And uh so that is the, you know, this is actually quite a nerf uh to the M249, but but I think a few people use the 8x on it. 
but this thing has an insane bullet velocity so the 8x was actually good and it made it better than the dmrs but that, that's cool it's uh, okay it's okay reduce crossbow reloading time from 4 to 3.5 seconds okay crossbow slightly buff here um nice. good buff for the crossbow this is interesting i like it weapon sway has been adjusted for all weapons slightly increased side to side movement okay okay so that is i don't necessarily like this but and weapon sway is now more pronounced when holding your breath okay so holding your breath is not as good meaning a cheek pad will be better uh, weapon sway when moving is now also reduced by the cheek pad attachment oh cool so if you were to be scoped while and moving while scoped which you could be then you're gonna have less movement with the cheek pad so a buff with the cheek pad absolutely these two things cheek pad cheek pads now also uh help you recover from weapon sway more quickly after moving okay well cheek pad buffs guys cheek pad is buffed I wonder how this is gonna if this is gonna change my conclusion on you know bullet loops being better i don't think so but it's just gonna make the cheek pad better and it's gonna make the choice of the bullet loops between the cheek pad more of a play style thing rather than an obvious choice i think throwables frag grenades oh this is interesting increased explosion damage and added new hit effects and animations okay yes um Previously, uh, grenade damage were greatly dependent on fall damage from the grenade's knockback effect rather than the explosion. Yes, we know that. We've removed the grenade's knockback effect for player characters. Great. And have adjusted it so it, that only explosion damage is applied when you're struck by a grenade. See, this is really good. This is a, it's a nerf for the grenades, but a necessary one. This is highly welcome. Um... You know, fall damage from grenades were just like the most terrible way to die and so unnecessary. I mean, so unnecessary. So this is just a really good thing. I mean, status right now, I love what I'm reading here. Okay, so that's good. Weight changes, all throwables. Okay, so I don't know about this. Frag grenades increased. Okay, so um, so they increase or decrease the weight. Um, honestly... I'm not quite sure about this. I have made a video about how to probably throw grenades. When I tested this, it is it is not that old. I mean, it was this year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was this year in patch 1.0. I tested how far you the grenades would go if you were standing in the same spot and just do the exact same throw with all the different grenades that we have right here. And they all hit the exact same spot. So... I'm not exactly sure how this affects the game, actually. Was it December? Oh, okay, interesting. Then then that might be uh, something interesting to have another look at, actually. Um, white changing, yeah, inventory space, of course. It's inventory space. Thank you, guys. This is why it's good to have a chat when you do this. We got cool people here. That's, of course, inventory space. Good. Character movement. We've slightly decreased the movement speed while holding... Okay, sniper rifles, LMGs, and shotguns. Okay, already you moved slowly with these things. I, one of the reasons I almost said the DP-28 were like a gun that had a difficult time in the game was because you were moving slowly with it. And now you're going to move slower. Shotguns are less of a, you know, sprint and shoot weapon. Uh, also makes good sense. It makes sense. Sniper rifles, it makes perfect sense. You should move slow with the, with the sniper rifle. Um, so, uh, it makes sense. A bit rough for the DP, I think, this this one is. But your equipped weapon uh, affects both of your sprinting speed. Both your sprinting speed and your running. Okay. Well, that makes sense. We've removed the first shot delay when your character is not sprinting. Thank you. I'm really happy to see this. This was one of the most annoying and non, you know, unnecessary things I've seen in PUBG. This, this is good.
So this was when you were especially shooting with a shotgun. I mean, you were shooting with a shotgun and you had a delay because your weapon was down, you were in a relaxed state. No, that's really... Um... Did I say increased? No, I mean, we slightly decreased the movement speed. That's what I said. Isn't that what I said? Okay. We removed the first shot delay. We've got that. Chambering a new round in certain weapons. Uh, M24, Car 98K. No longer limits you to, walk to walking speed while aiming down sights. Okay. Cool. The... The amount your camera shakes after being shot, aim punch, now depends on the amount of damage you received. Okay, so, um, okay, I, we need to see how this is. Uh, it, it makes good sense, I guess, but, so in, in theory, if you're, if you're shot by a big sniper, you will get more aim punch than if you're shot by a small pistol. Even though pistols does damage, but it makes sense. I'm just I'm I'm curious if we have too much aim punch, but let's let's find out. Other item balance level three helmets now only spawn in care packages, and one is guaranteed to be in every care packages. Okay, that's good. This is uh this is what I also talked about on stream um last time we talked about this. Hopefully it it would be guaranteed, and now it is, so that's good. So all care packages will be having a level three helmet so you know for sure if you go for one you will get a helmet makes sense good incentive to go for it um still kind of curious if we will see professional players in tournaments go for it i doubt it um but let's see both um sr quick draw magazines and sr extended quick draw magazines now spawn in care packages okay Cool. Makes good sense as well, uh, since uh, you can put those in the airdrop uh, uh, snipers. So that's good. Reduce the spawn rate for assault rifle uh, extended quick draw magazine. Okay. So that's going to be rare. Okay. So you're going to be choosing more between the quick draw and the extended mag. And with increased reload speed, what will you be choosing? I still think you're going to be going for the extended mag here because an extended mag will better allow you to spray down vehicles as they're driving by you. So it makes sense. So having level three helmets, um, you know, I've been, I've been asking for this for a long time. I feel like the level three helmet was is overpowered in the game it belongs in an airdrop so i'm happy that we're only gonna get it there i think i think that's a good change um and it's also gonna be a good buff for the snipers i mean it makes perfect sense snipers will be more like snipers they will work better like snipers assault rifle will be less powerful submachine guns will work better in close range and so will pistols and shotguns it makes perfect sense um DMRs now use AR attachments. Ooh. Along with SR attachments. Now, wow. That is interesting. Okay, so... Okay. I get a buff for the DMRs. This is actually a big buff for the DMRs. Huh. So you can use your compensator for your AKM on your SKS. Okay. Adrenaline syringes now spawn rarely alongside normal loot in the game world. Thank you. Because it's not that good. It's just, you know, a cool item. It's not good. I mean, I, I don't like it. It takes forever to take it. They should reduce um, the time it takes to inject this thing rather than just have it spawn in the world but again this is this is also like a statement like we saw with the tommy gun and the vss this is them saying okay we realize that this might not be you know good enough to only have an air drops so it's a good good thing um what did i say 
Oh. Okay, nice. Okay, we're reading one line, you know, at a time. Adjusted the casting time of adrenaline syringes from eight to, to six seconds. Okay, 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 chill. Okay, you know, it's almost like I made this, right? <laughs> well, I, I read one line at a time, seriously. Okay. So that's good. Um, is six seconds too much? Maybe. Maybe. So, a new weapon. Yes. Along with all the balance changes, we're introducing a new weapon, a new vehicle, and a ton of new weapon attachments. Cool. So, the new weapon um, looks like a PUBG weapon, you know? The feel of the weapon uh, is spot on. I, I like it. Uh, new weapon, added the SLR. The SLR will be spawned alongside normal world loot. It's a DMR, which uses 7.62mm ammo and contains 10 bullets per magazine. 20 bullets when extended. Just like the VSS, just like the SKS. Okay. The SLR is more... Uh, powerful than the SKS, but has more recoil. Okay, recoil control is a key to using the SLR effectively. Okay, and that's where I come in, you know. I, I'll, I'll give you guys, I'll figure it out and tell you guys all about it. Don't worry, you can trust me. Um, so, new vehicle, yes. Exactly what Miramar needed in terms of vehicles. This is, uh, this is, this could be a game changer for me and Miramar. This could be the reason. Although, it might be a bit sad to say this, this could be the reason to play Miramar over in Wrangle with the map selection that I do know we're also gonna get it. So, cool. The Mirado is a classic muscle car, fast, four-seated sedan that is limited to Miramar. It can be found around downtown areas and main city street. Ah. Oh. Okay, so you're not gonna find that out in the open on a random mountain road. Think of the Mirado as a complement to the other unique vehicles on Miramar. Yes, we're promoting Miramar here. The van is extremely sturdy, but slow and ineffective when taking off-road. The pickup if, is great for off-road travel. Uh, we, 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 can, we can discuss that one. You know, call me. I'll, you know. Okay. And the Mirado is the fastest way to blaze down a highway. Cool. New attachments. Ooh. There's the convertible version too. Nice. So, new attachments. Duck build. And new attachments for the shotguns. 1897 S12K. Okay. It reduces the vertical pellet spread, but increases the horizontal bullet spread. Okay. Well, we've seen these in other games too. It's interesting. Um, actually, it will be easier to get a double kill with the shotgun with this thing. Um... And this might be really good when you uh, push buildings. Like you go into a room and you might not have, you know, the best accuracy. Uh, you might want to go for this one. It's going to, you know, spread it horizontally. Makes, co makes good sense. Harder to get your shots hit the head. More likely to hit the chest. More likely to hit the arms. But we do have increased damage on those two um, parts of the body. So that's cool. Um, light grip. Reduces the vertical recovery time, but increases, uh, sorry, rec reduces rec recoil recovery time, but increases vertical and horizontal recoil. Reduces. Mm. Okay. Um, that's interesting. So. So this is like your burst item, right? This is what you use when you like to fire. Um, maybe like when you use the rule of one plus four on an M4, so you're gonna be able to shoot like five bullets, stop shooting, and then you can shoot quickly again. It's what you will be using when you fire a few amounts of bullets with high precision, stop shooting, and take your aim again. This is not something you spray with. This is something you precision burst with. This is this might be the preferred choice. If you want to use your assault rifle for medium range or long range. Now, probably medium range, I would say. So this is a medium range thing. And you will be using your submachine gun for close range. 
single tap i'm not sure it's gonna be single tap it might be but because you know recall recovery time might also just be you know when you spray you know the time it takes you between you um can do a successful precision spray again um we'll be needing some testing absolutely how exactly this affects all the parts of the weapon i mean this makes for a great comparison video i can see that thumb grip reduces vertical recoil but increases horizontal recoil terrible also increases the recoil recovery time so i guess this is what this, this you know might be your single tap but still horizontal recoil is just terrible i mean you don't want that we do have a lot of vertical recoil on some weapons like the sks uh, it depends how much it increases horizontal recoil because we don't like that it's gonna make it harder to shoot quickly it's gonna make it you know spraying vehicles yeah maybe maybe however when you spray a vehicle uh you often aim for uh, still around the area of where the people are sitting and that's gonna be even harder but i don't know um, of course, will have to be tested. It's hard to exactly know because we don't know how much it reduces and increases recoil on these things. Um, okay, half grip reduces the vertical and horizontal recoil. Good. Also reduces recoil recovery time. Good. Okay. So, that's good. But it's probably not going to do it as much. I mean, reduce vertical recoil. It's not going to reduce it the same amount as the thumb grip, obviously. But, I mean, this uh, this might be... Like, this is your, like, safe choice. Yeah. Cool. Scope 3X. Okay, we got a scope that is a fixed 3X fixed. Yes. Um... Fixed 3x magnification with an illuminated uh, radical. It is uh, discoverable as a normal world of item. Okay. Curious to see how that looks. Um, scope 6x. Yes, I saw this. Uh, interesting. Uh, variable 3x to 6x magnification. This is pretty cool. And uh, you should be able to put this on assault rifles too. So you can get that 6x magnification on your M4. If you want that. Half grip also has a negative impact. Okay, well, yeah, well it doesn't say here, but yeah. gonna test it. Uh, discoverable as a rare world drop item. Okay, makes good sense. It, it's gonna be really powerful to get. It's gonna be really good for your assault rifle, I guess. You can now change the reticle style um, and color on the red dot, hollow sight, and 2x scope using the scope zeroing keys. Okay, that's also cool. I like this. Um, uh, what I just saw is um, just reading around is that it, it won't remember your setting, so you have to do it all the time. Um, maybe just when finding a new weapon, but... I mean, I like that people get customizing, uh, you know, customizability here. Uh, that's cool. Probably gonna go with the dots still though, but I like it. It's cool. Um, gotta try them, of course. Okay, boat and swimming adjustments. Boats now sink when destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, well, it makes good sense. Uh, funny, I actually forgot that they don't, but makes good sense. We've made some adjustments to the way swimming works to reduce the effectiveness of hiding underwater. Nice. This is really good for esports. You know, less good for like the water strat, but you know, when we do it on the stream, but okay, it's good. Uh, saying we decrease the maximum submersible time from 35 to 15 seconds. Ow. Okay, can no longer be a water snake here. <laughs> okay. Once you run out of air, you'll now take 10 damage per second up from 4 damage per second. Okay, fair enough. Um, should never do that anyway. Increase the delay for breath recovery time from 1 to 4 seconds. In other words, when you lift your head out of the water, it will now take 4 seconds before you begin to recover your breath. 
Okay, so the water strategy is, is no more. It's It might still have some effectiveness, but, I, you know, this is a big nerf to being below water. It's still gonna be, you know, a strategy you can use, like, when when maybe your teammate, you, you're waiting for your teammate, you're stuck below water, some guy's hunting you, you jump down there, low health, and you're, t you're waiting for your teammates to come help, help you, but you can't do this, like, as a strategy, just, just do this in the final circles that we see in esports and, you know, in tryhard gaming, so... Okay, reaching map selection and main menu UI. Okay, we're gonna have a look at this in a moment. Uh, like it. It's cool. Uh, we have map selection now. It's been widely requested in the community. Um, pick just one map, Irangle or Myanmar, on its own to guarantee that you'll play there. Mm -hmm. So you start by having everything selected, then you then you deselect stuff. If you if you select multiple maps, the game will randomly drop you into one of the selected maps. Okay, as we discussed in the map selection announcement developer block, we may revisit the design of this feature as additional maps are added. We will keep you updated, and this makes good sense because let's say you have ten maps, you don't want one you don't want people to play one map, so you would probably have people you know force people to select three or something or four. Um, so that's probably how this is gonna be. You know, this is needed when you add a map like Savage. It plays completely different than these two. I like this. I really like this. And just, you know, just having the muscle car on Miramar is gonna be, you know, a good reason to go there anyway. So, we also improved the UI for team mode and perspective selection. As before, only the host can select those options. Okay. We've added an option to adjust vertical mouse sensitivity. Thank you. Now I can remove it from my any file. That has been approved by PUBG Corp to be used so far, so we don't need that anymore. You can get your mouse sensitivity to be the same horizontally and vertically, which is super important for muscle memory and uh, it's gonna improve your aim overall if you do that when you do that because you are gonna do that or i'm gonna come after you we've added an option to change the hotkey for reporting a player doing killer spectating okay r key okay um world we've made more improvements to mirror more good because it needs it We've increased the size of the oasis and added more buildings nearby. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly what I felt about the oasis all the time. I went there once just to see how it looked like. It had not, no, no loot there. Why should I go there? It's only a disadvantage to go there. But now it's bigger, probably cooler, more buildings. Hopefully buildings with good loot rather than just buildings. Because... Buildings with a lot of places that loot can spawn are better, so this is cool. Added extra farming points by placing small building sets near various cities and towns. Okay. Okay, so overall, easier to get loot. Less chance that you're gonna get caught in a bad position with no options to find loot. It's cool. Home sourcing, there are four god buildings. Nice. So, sounds like the oasis is gonna be a good place to go to. Um, but of course, we need to check that. We've reduced the number of buildings in some city areas to cut down on excessive building density. Also good. This is good. However, I do like the density of a place like Los Leones. But I also think that, you know, sometimes it feels a bit too dense. Which kind of, you know, prevents combat and makes the game, you know, harder to spot enemies because, you know, people don't see each other. So, I like this. We removed uh, some excessive cover points, rocks, drums, and boxes inside various cities and towns. Okay. Fair enough. Um, need more cover in buildings then. We've added more optics like trees, rocks throughout the map to provide some more additional options for cover in wide open spaces. Also a good thing. Because uh, running in the open in on Miramar is pretty cool. It feels cool. It's, it's a good feeling you have about that. This is going to make it more viable. And it's also going to be cooler when you get, you know, someone shoot at your vehicle. You need to stop it quickly. Otherwise, it's going to pop. You can find some cover. That's I like it. 
also gonna make for better end game situations um that's cool so interiors of certain buildings have been simplified i hope this means that some of the buildings which were like super small and had like eight rooms took ages to loot uh, because they were like small hard to navigate i hope that uh, is what this means but um again gonna have to check it out but it sounds good either way it's good you know uh bug fixes okay reduce some overly dramatic collision <laughs> okay the spatial effects yes Okay, that's good, because actually, some people were, like, kind of exploiting the fact that when you crash into something with your bike, very often, other vehicles will just take off. Um, so that's good. Fix an issue that would sometimes prevent you from hopping off a motorbike after it had fallen down. Okay, that's also good. Uh, when players move and shoot at the same time, bullet shells should now fall to the ground and remain there instead of chasing the player like uh, scared demon bullets okay timer for the final blue zones would now display correctly fixed an issue that was muting the blue zones effect for players who left and rejoined the game okay so these are minor things result in issues that sometimes allowed you to adjust your camera to see through the ceiling of this oh that's not good it's good we adjusted that um certain problematic terrain elements which caused weird collisions or movement on a wrangle and miramar has been fixed nice so this means less you know banging into stuff with the vehicle crashing into stuff that you can't see basically i like it fix some abnormal orange lighting in effects in the building on a wrangle oh no so my orange lighting building in pachinki you know the one near uh, near the um, a church not gonna have the orange lighting i i kind of started to like that but okay fair enough uh resolved some strange collision problems that were affecting character models and bullet cartridges okay ah well actually let me let me just see before i say this walking on wooden structures no longer created bizarre out of place footstep noises okay prone characters should now no longer improbably clip into the ground good Result in an issue that sometimes limited movement after using emotes. Uh, hey, uh, whatever. Who uses emotes anyway? Uh, text on a UMP. Uh, whatever. Weapon ammo is now counted as loaded when the magazine. Oh, weapon ammo is now counted as loaded when the magazine or bullet is inserted into the weapon rather than when the animation finishes. Yes. I didn't know this, this was a bug. I thought it was just what they wanted, but this is good this is good how many times have it happened well not well it happened several times to me that i reload my weapon and i realized it wasn't reloaded at all so this is really really good it's actually this is how it should be super good like this is this is a big one um this one up here um Resolved some strange collision problems that were affecting character models and bullet cartridges. I don't know if this is the thing, but when you're reloading, like in the live patch right now, when you're reloading, your magazine will cause you to jump sometimes, making a loud jumping sound. I have shown this in my jumping, sorry, jumping my sound video. And, you know, this might be the fix for that too. So, conclusion here is that this is wonderful. This is awesome. This is, uh, you know, this is just good. And you know, I, I have n actually nothing bad to say here. Yes, there needs to be tested some things, some things here. Uh, the grips, um, the grips, you know, something I, you know, need to check you more into. But seriously, this is really good. Uh, so, cool. That was the patch notes, guys. And, um... This game is on track, guys. This game is on track.